108th Contact, Thursday, June 1, 1978, 6.31 p.m. Billy says human children, you haven't been here for a long time. Quetzal says you know, nevertheless, that we were very busy. Billy says of course, I did, indeed, say nothing about that. But you really haven't been here for a long time, and now, you finally come back, just to bang around on my drum. Patar says why, my friend, do you assume that? Billy says Semiazza already made hell for me when she was here on the 20th of May. She also said that you two were working out some analyses and plans, after which I can then piece together the rest myself. Patar says your assumption isn't so wrong, for I really have to speak a very serious word with you. Billy says then just begin immediately, so I'll then have the sermon behind me. Patar says you shouldn't understand it in such a way because the things are not of insignificance. Billy says certainly not, but on the other hand, I also didn't claim that. I know, just to tell you up front, that I've neglected my whole work and also haven't striven for it anymore. I know that I devoted myself to other things and carried out manual activities, as you so nicely call it. But damn it, every now and then, I also need some exercise. I am not a person who can just constantly sit in the office without being able to move around. Already since childhood, as you know, I've learned to work, and indeed, bam hard. And I can't simply throw this all overboard now. It isn't suitable for me just to lie around idle and twiddle my thumbs, otherwise, I'll crack up. Quetzal says you have your work and are fully occupied by it. Patar says never mind that what he is doing with the work is already of correctness, after all, he feels and thinks correctly in this regard, that he must operate manually every now and then. It isn't given to him to live without physical activity. Every now and then, he must bring his physical strength to application. He has learned to work manually through extremely hard training, and from time to time, he needs this physical activity, even today and in the future. About that, I am oriented very precisely and very well. But you, my friend, you really exaggerate these things, for in recent months, you have devoted yourself almost only to manual activities, despite several admonitions and have thereby neglected and omitted your most important work and task. But I certainly don't have to talk about this anymore because my daughter has already done this well enough. Thus, I will only reiterate that her explanations correspond to our thoughts fully and completely and that everything will be handled in accordance with her words. Billy says I know that and I also see that I've committed serious mistakes. But see, Patar, it's really true that if the shop is to run with us, then I just have to give instructions and cooperate, for there aren't many with us who are knowledgeable in all works. Patar says that is, indeed, of correctness, but it doesn't excuse you or the others. You should have done your work, and the others should have done those works that fall within their work areas. For this, it would have only been necessary for them to have learned their tasks, so that they could have carried these out in the meantime independently and without your instructions. But not only with the manual activities has everything fallen into neglect but also with various other things, whereby everything hasn't progressed in such a way, as it was actually intended. Thus, with the help of Quetzal, I have made analyses in the past few days with regard to all group members, which yielded some rather unpleasant results. On the whole, the moral sentiment isn't exactly the best with all, and it is of urgent necessity that the necessary steps are taken against this. In certain cases, even a true indifference prevails, which is also no longer allowed to accrue further, so in the particular case with the brothers Huns and Conrad. But complaints toward various others must also be brought forth, so also in reference to the efforts of the meditation, since various ones don't even try to include themselves in the meditative exercises in the Sahar Center, which is extremely regrettable. Billy says I know, Patar, but what should I do about that? If no interest is available for it then that's not my thing. 
Moreover, it has now come so far that I had to close the center since I can't raise the necessary funds for the heating bill anymore. The heating for the center alone costs me about 900 francs per quarter, which I can no longer bear myself. In real trouble and need, I was still able to pay the bill for this time using all possible means, but now, I'm lacking the other 2,30 francs for the other bills, which I already should have paid 14 days ago. So is it now just so, that I had to close the center and can probably no longer put it into operation this year because I simply can't raise 300 francs every month, in order to pay for heating. Patar says under no circumstances may this be, for the meditative exercises are extremely important and may not be interrupted. Billy says you can talk easily. On the other hand, only very few have really tried to do these exercises. Patar says although your words are of correctness, you must find the way, so that the center can be used. Billy says I just can't do it, otherwise, I'll croak by lack of funds. If I can't pay the electricity bills on time, then our power will simply be shut off. Patar says then you must speak with the group members because the meditative exercises in the Sahar Center may not be interrupted. Moreover, it has become necessary that we now determine for the individual group members when and how often they complete their exercises. Those who don't conform to this and who also keep themselves away from it for trivial reasons must be finally and irrevocably excluded from this without pardon, and to be sure, for all time. But this also applies, as my daughter already explained, to all remaining tasks. Whoever must be excluded, this one's four storages will, contrary to earlier explanations, be eliminated by us immediately and irrevocably from the central piece in the Sahar Center. Too much has already left the right tracks, and that's why we couldn't let ourselves be drawn into your new promises again. The whole proposed plan is already extremely disturbed by the constant senselessness of the group, and there is no longer a possibility to carry out this plan in full. For this reason, we had to submit all concerns to the High Council, which is now examining the remaining possibilities for achieving the goal, after which you and the group will be informed about it. Claire, through her malice and her selfish actions in her incomprehensible inconsistency, has inflicted the worst damage to us, you, and our task. But various others have also caused irreparable damage, who have treacherously stepped aside from the group and their task and who were chosen for specific tasks. All of them should no longer find a way back into the internal group, which has to deal with the actual task. Their storages in the center have already been eliminated, and they should not and may not be given the possibility of joining the internal group again of learning matters of importance from it or of entering the Sahar Center even once. From now on, all information and reports, etc. are not to be made accessible to them any longer. In the particular case, this concerns the following former internal group members Amata, Margaret Ruffer, Renato, Mariella, Hans Jacob, Marg Flammer, Olgerilda, Mia, Adolf Barrow, Helga and Midko. These ones named may find no re-entry into the internal group and may no longer receive any information of importance or any contact reports. Billy says but Patar, Quetzal conceded some time ago that a period of eight months should be given to them. Moreover, Mayor isn't called Mayor but rather Maria. Patar says the eight months have been declared by the High Council to be inadequate and wrong. According to its advice only a definitive dismissal of those mentioned, without the possibility of return, is of value, for a return would newly call the same dangers and problems into appearance already after a short time. Thus, we must act in a definitive form because we can no longer afford renewed differences, degeneracies, grudges, etc. and renewed failures. If we would, nevertheless, accept this, then everything would be irretrievably destroyed, and we wouldn't have another possibility. Already now, as I already explained, the High Council must seek a new solution for our objective, in order to still be able to bring it to an end. But this will be the last possibility because there won't be another one anymore. 
Truly, it is very difficult to grasp, but nevertheless, it's like this that which we have prepared for hundreds and thousands of years in strict and constant effort, and which seemed irrevocable to us has been ruined and destroyed by some irrational, selfish, inconsistent, treacherous and intellectually poor earth human beings, as well as by internal and best informed group members, whereby we are forced to look for a new way if we want to do justice to our task. How much irrationality, treachery, slander, tyranny, selfishness, lying, deception, intellectual poverty and rational poverty must still also truly be concealed in those fallible earth human beings who are already moving in somewhat higher consciousness related courses. This is a very deplorable factor, which has only fully come to our consciousness now, however, and which we also, unfortunately, hadn't included in our calculations. To your other issue, however my name designation for mayor is of correctness because she is called, mayor, among us in accordance with her values, but that should certainly no longer be of importance. Billy says your remarks leave no doubt of the situation, and I've already feared something like that. But what should happen now? Quetzal says as Pata explained to you, the High Council is now seeking a last possibility of a solution because all plans have been destroyed nearly down to the last detail and have become almost inoperable. For my part, I can explain in this relation just as little as also Patar, for we don't even have a notion of how this last resort solution will look. The only certainty is that with the group members who've stepped aside, their normal life flow now comes into operation again and no benefit will be pushed toward them anymore because. Billy says by that, do you mean that their additional defense bans will fall by this and death will overtake them according to their old existing values? Quetzal says that will be the case, yes. Billy says then we can already prepare ourselves for that because the first data is already due in. Patar says quiet, be more careful of what you say, for what you say could become known despite all precautions, due to any mistakes. The fallible ones should in no way obtain any information about these concerns, at least not until their time, which will be in the first half of the 21st century for all of them. Billy says sorry, that wasn't my intention. Moreover, I think that you're also quite careless even if you've made no exact data for those still remaining. Quetzal says you interrupted me just when I wanted to explain to you that through them no longer participating in the task suggested by us all, the intended 12 year longer lifespans of these yielded members becomes null and void, and they themselves, through their betrayal, have already completely eliminated the relevant value impulses stored in them, which they received through the special long wait times in the Sahar Center, as is known to you. Through all the malicious incidents in the all destructive form, these impulses were also completely eliminated in all other fallible group members by themselves. And as we now know from the High Council, it is likely to be the case that for those remaining and for newcomers in this relation, new values must be brought into being, but these will no longer amount uniformly to 12 years but only purely individually according to the achieved state of evolution, so for example, it will only be a few weeks or months for one group member but several years for another. This also corresponds sooner to the thinking of the earth human being, so therefore also to the group members. Anyway, they weren't responsive to a standardization, according to which that which is right and good would have been equally awarded to everyone, by what means every group member would have, therefore, received the same amount in every respect. Unfortunately, the thinking of the group members is not yet aligned with this form of justice, which is why we can also no longer act in accordance with this. The thinking of the group members is often aligned in the wrong form, so that they make demands for their actions, thoughts, services, and efforts because they feel encouraged by their crazy and wrong thinking and don't want to understand that this is an evil, strife-producing, and incorrect form that is based on egoism. One may neither think nor act in this form, however, because it works destructively down to the last detail when profound reasons don't exist for such praise, as this was sometimes the case, for example, 
with your cannibal. We try to teach you all the correct form by classifying